On the 12th of December, Britain returned to the polls for the third time in five years. In what was described as the Brexit election, Boris Johnson tore through the Red Wall, taking a number of large Labour safe areas. While the constituencies of Jarrow and South Shields are believed to be safe Labour seats, they have both been at the mercy of a strong campaign from Conservative and Brexit Party candidates, which significantly reduced both majorities. First time elected Kate Osborne, a North Tyneside councillor, found her majority cut by 10,000 votes compared to her predecessor Stephen Hepburn. Mr Hepburn had represented the Jarrow seat for more than 22 years before being barred from standing as a Labour candidate due to allegations of sexual harassment. Uh, well, yes, I'm absolutely delighted. Uh, uh, I'm not sure uh, what's happening across the rest of the country at the moment, but I'm absolutely proud and delighted that we've managed to return to the Labour and Ms Osborne was also a controversial choice, having had 37 Labour MPs opposed to her selection after sharing a controversial Facebook post showing ex-Prime Minister Theresa May being held at gunpoint. Ms Osborne has since apologised for sharing the post. Incumbent MP Emma Louise Lowell Buck suffered heavy voting losses of around 5,000 votes compared to 2017. Ms Lowell Buck was facing deselection as the South Shields MP up until the snap election was called for. Both candidates thank their respective constituents, with Miss Lowell Buck deriding the current toxic political environment. I want to thank those candidates who have campaigned respectfully. They, like the people of South Shields, rejected the gutter politics of lies, smears and personal attacks. Because here, we are better than that. We always have been and we always will be.